Member Mann, what is your point? Uh, I believe that Ms. Benya had voted against this item, so at this point she didn't vote for the item to begin with. Ms. Dr. Escuela? Uh, I may refer to our attorney. Uh, Counselor, uh, do we have a point of order here, or, or what do you I don't think, think so, because I asked that last time. Hey, Counselor, it, it seems in this instance this is a, a, a different matter, the approval of the contract rather than the selection of the RFQ. So within those confines, it would be a separate question. And I'll go after her, too. Okay, thank you. And Ms. Spinia? Yes, uh, I just wanted to find out the reasoning for the necessity of increasing from 12.5 to 15, what is the necessity of increasing that interest? This, and if I'm, if, I, if I'm correct, the interest that is being increased is the attorney fees that they will charge, they'll be charging the community, not us. Am I correct? Dr. Montoya? Uh, I know that we've done extensive research. Uh, Mr. Garcia, if you would please go into that. Yes, uh, thank you, Dr. Montoya and Dr. Escobedo, to answer your question. Uh, we're changing, actually, Actually, the, the percentage is changing because we are changing our delinquent uh, tax attorney collectors. For whatever reason, making a noise. Yeah, so, so that, that is the reason that, that it's going from uh, 12 and a half to 15. Uh, just a couple of points that I would like to make. One of them, remember that this percentage is only applied to the delinquent uh, Taxpayers, it's not across the board, it's not for everyone. I did uh, study the situation, and every time that uh, our current tax rolls come around, approximately 92% of our taxpayers pay their taxes on time, so this would affect 8% that would eventually become delinquent. Okay, my question is uh, in the math with me. When we, they collect these taxes, they take the 15% off the top of the collection every time they make a payment. Am I correct? No, no, ma'am, that is not correct. When is this collected? This is, let me, let me just give you a little bit of uh, sure. the scratch. Please, please. Uh, Tax bills go out. <clears throat> a taxpayer has an opportunity to pay their taxes on time. If they pay it, I think, in October, November, in December, they receive some discounts. Mm -hmm. The taxes are actually due January 31st. Right. After January 31st, if they're not collected, then on February 1st, the accounts become, the current accounts become delinquent, which means now that the tax assessor collector sends out notifications to the taxpayers, and they're saying that those accounts are delinquent, and they start charging what is called a penalty and interest. That's for everyone who becomes delinquent. <clears throat> if the taxpayers do not come to uh, an agreement or start paying, or they pay their taxes, then anything that's left over after July 1st, so they have had all this time after July 1st, then they are referred to our, our attorneys, which would help now collect the delinquent taxes. Now, you mentioned another point. This does not come from the taxes that are due to the entity. This 15% is the attorney fees that are added to what the delinquent account has in there. The taxes, penalty, and interest, and then an additional uh, 15%. And why did they decide the reason to increase it instead of leaving it? Uh, uh, we being the entity that is entering into this contract, and we negotiate with the vendor to enter into this contract, what necessary that, or made it necessary for you to increase it from 12.5 to 15? Because even though it's only like 8% of the community, that's still money or, or interest that's being taken from the community. And, you know, I'm sure we've all read the paper, we've read everywhere, we've gotten people call us. What is the objective of having to raise the percentage that goes to the attorney? Doesn't matter who collects it, it's just that we're affecting the actual citizen. And nobody becomes delinquent because they want to. It's kind of like saying you gain weight because you wanted to. Things don't happen because you want to. Mr. Garcia, do you understand your question? Yes, I, absolutely. I do understand the question. Please keep in mind that the change is coming because you are changing uh, uh, the attorneys that are collecting it. <coughs> Not that we're uh, changing from 12 and a half to 15 because that was a rate that we no, negotiated. I guess you understand. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. I guess you understand what I'm saying. What you're telling me is because we, as a district, decided to pick 
the Limeburger firm, and they do it at 50, we're stuck at their rate. We cannot negotiate to keep it at 12.5 for our contract. That, that's correct. We did accept uh, the bid as it came in, and it came in at 15 percent. Let me tell you what the 15 percent is used for. The 15 percent is really they use it to work for their their operations. Uh, when I did the comparison of the firms, that was one of the items that was considered. And with this 15%, actually what we do get is um, what we do get is more resources that the firm is able to. Can I see? Can we get a copy of that in black and white in comparison with the previous one that was at 12.5, and the new one now is at 15? Are you saying because they have a bigger staff and they need more? Of they have more resources that they will be using can I, for the event. Can I get the, a list? Or can we get a list of what the resources are? Absolutely. Yes, I can. I don't I'm sorry. Finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Yes, I will. This is my last. I'm just trying to justify to the community who we represent with our whole heart truly represent the justification be why we're going to allow the interest to go to 12.5. Being that it's a resolution and it needs our approval, I need to justify to the community why we are doing that because we are the ones that are doing that. Not anyone, not you, but us voting in favor of it makes us the ones that made that decision for the community. Mrs. Prezes? Yes, thank you. Um, first of all, um, the recommendation of administration is what? And was what when we voted on it? Okay. Okay. So we followed the process, the procurement process of the ratings and voting on this item a while back. Am I correct? That, that was voted on already. Now, um, it is my understanding that the former law firm, um, there was uh, approximately 10 years of delinquent taxes by that attorney. What could have been the cost if we would have continued? Is there any liability? Does that law firm need to be paid up in their taxes? Apparently there was a 10-year grace period that the district did not collect from Mr. Pena from his property. Can you elaborate on that, uh, Mr. Michelle? The district should collect any monies owed to it, you know, any, any sort of delinquency that's to do. I mean, there's, it's clear that the district should do that. Otherwise, it's not, um, you know, it's a gift of public funds. Okay, so the law firm that was collecting taxes from our taxpayers mm -hmm. had the audacity to go and send letters and, and collect from our constituents and our taxpayers, but yet again, yeah, we, yeah, took, yeah, we yeah, took the yeah, final yeah, order. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's yeah, fine. But my point is, we went out for bids. The procurement process was was followed. A year ago, or two years ago, former administration recommended the former law firm, which was the fourth ranking law firm, and we did not follow the procurement process then. Would that would have been a liability to us then also as well, sir? If the procurement process were not followed, the, the, you could have a challenge to that. So that now, concept. the administration has already told us and made it clear that is their recommendation. We voted on it. We moved on it. Right now, it's just passing the accounts from one law firm to the other so they can proceed. Am I correct? That's all the resolution is for? The 50 percent. And if that's their fee, that's their fee. Am I correct? That's the way it came in. Okay, I, I have a... Okay, I, I apologize. Yeah, he was... Mr. Aguilar. Thanks. Uh, Dr. Montana, does it have any impact in yeah, the delinquent taxes uh, that we receive? 